Next one is from Aaron. This one is a good one. Um, Lars, thank you for putting out great videos. Hey, you're so very welcome, man. Um, I have a question about splitting bodies. Is there a way to split a body on anything other than a single plane? Um, on multiple planes that is in a... Okay, he sent a picture, so let's just get to the picture. Because that probably makes it a little easier. Here is the picture from, uh, from Aaron. I have a question about splitting bodies. Is there a way to split a body on anything other than a single plane, for example, on multiple planes that intersect along a curve? I run into a few instances where I'm trying to remix, in quotation, somebody else's design and want to cut out a certain part of the model and move it. So I think that that is, um, that is part of this. So is there an easy way to split the body along and below the two blue lines? All right, so let's model this thing up quick. You can take a look. So I'm going to start a sketch on the top here. And let's just do S key and a center rectangle. So let's make it 100 by 100 millimeters. I'm just going to try to make something that looks um, oh, we're not in perspective with all the faces. It didn't, didn't turn around on me. Um, and let's make, let's make a Q. 100. 100 by 100. There we go. That's a cube equal to uh, to what um, we had on our on our image there. Then there was a couple of holes and the stuff sticking out. So new sketch on the side here. C for circle, a circle there, and there's about two circles here. Press Q, and this is going to be a stop out. Right click, repeat. Turn that sketch back on. Okay, so the question is, from Aaron, is that if I have a sketch on this top face here, that looks like this, maybe, uh, how do we cut this section out? A certain, so let's say we wanted to cut down to the section where these holes are, um, without having to create all different planes. Because you could use planes. That's what I maybe have showed in previous videos. Let me just show you that first, and then I answer Aaron's question. So if we created a plane, an offset plane, we could draw a plane down maybe somewhere around there. We could, in this sense, also create a plane from this face in here, somewhere past those holes maybe. And then what we could do was we could use this split body and if i clicked on the body we've got to split the plane as a splitting tool then it will cut that body in, in with that splitting tool um, we could do the same thing by cutting with that other plane we put there we could kind of split all this out now that's all great but it is a lot more work than we need to so let me just go down and select that first plane we created at the bottom over to there and hit delete the trick here, Aaron, it's a pretty cool little trick, I think, is to draw up your sketch like you did. Hit the extrude command or the press pull command. Now, instead of going upwards, we're going to go down. Now, you're saying, well, that's just a cut. I know. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go over and we're going to turn this in to a new body. Okay. So what is going to happen is that right now we have one body, but when I hit OK here, this new sketch is actually going to be another body. Click OK. So now there's two bodies. So let me just hide. So here's what we had. And now what we just created, because we had a new body, it's just a, a block. Doesn't do if we go up and we do a split body, and we said this is the body we got to split, the original one, the splitting tool is that body number four. And we say, all right, let's hit, make sure you don't have extended splitting tools on. Hit OK. You will now see we ended up with the, with the next body. Now, if we hide our, our tool body, we see this. If we hide our original body, we see this. And we flip around, we see this. So now we can actually go up and use the move tool. We can select this body here. We can move that out, and now we have 
uh, use that. So this, the, using the extrude, but making it into a new body, and then using the split command with that will uh, will break that out. Pretty dang cool, I think. I hope that you found that. Uh, hope you found that useful, Aaron. Thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. That's okay.